Carl here from Games, Brains and Headbanging Live, GBHBL.com for sure. And it's horror movie time. We're taking a look at Demons at Dawn. Directed by Randy Kent, written by Chris Sanders and starring Ben Silva, Amber Doig Thorne, Crystal J. Huang and Danny Thompson. Demons at Dawn is a low budget horror that simply fails to light up the screen. It's a messy story and an interesting cast of characters, very disappointing effects and a really flat ending. Putting it simply, Demons at Dawn is not a good movie. Believe me. You can't scare me, Mickey. After everything I've witnessed. Mickey, you are the best contract killer you've ever known. I'm tired of killing people. <laughs> a wife and a son to think about now. We're offering you a way out. One last job. You do this for her, and then you'll be free. We've come a long way to see. I just wanted to say, I love you. I don't know what I saw. It's real, Mickey. They do it good. Black magic? Really? This isn't fiction. Help me! None of this is real! Stay where you are. Yeah, I think I'm starting to see where this is heading. Taking an age to get going, we're introduced to Mickey, played by Ben Silver. Our retired hitman who has no interest in doing any more jobs. Even though he owes a huge amount of money to some unknown but powerful people. It is... This debt and his desire to live a normal life with his wife and young son that is used as blackmail to force him to do one more job. One last job. Although it takes an age to get going, at least his setup is decent. So Mickey, he heads out into the English countryside to find his target, coming across a house that appears to be deserted. It's here he will get dragged into a much darker plot, one involving human sacrifices and an elite satanic cult and demonic entities. Describing it like that, the basic synopsis sounds like a wild ride, but Demons at Dawn doesn't deliver on that. Instead, it's an incredibly slow-moving movie, more interested in having characters talk without really saying much at all. Instead of getting something over the top and cheesy, a la Demon Wind or Night of the Demons, we get something unnecessarily serious. Okay. You got yourself a deal. Good move. Yeah, we'll see. Just have more faith, Mr. Santini. Everyone plays this so straight that it quickly stops being any fun. Something that isn't helped by a cast who aren't exactly lighting up the screen. Instead of sticking with a small number, people pop in and out randomly, seemingly having been waiting off screen to simply enter the movie. Each character is bland as the other, all while the character of Mickey tries his hardest to come across as an unfeeling tough guy. Instead of coming across like that, he just comes across monumentally bored. If you haven't fallen asleep or decided to not waste your time finishing it, the introduction of the cult and demons will simply finish you off. Confusing motivations, confusing behaviour, laughably bad Halloween masks and very little threat. Demons at Dawn starts to look and feel like a film school project. The brief use of gore doesn't improve it. It just makes everything worse. You are. It gives us no pleasure to blast a movie like this, but we can't ignore the poor quality of the product. Demons at Dawn has very little to be positive about. It's slow, uninteresting, has bland characters, average acting and disappointing effects. Had it been played for laughs or been over the top silly, it might have been enjoyable. But simply put, it's not. This is one to avoid, I'm afraid. Got any thoughts on it? You know what to do. Let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbill.com as well as via our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as listen to our interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music, and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL. 
games, horror, and heavy metal. What else is life for?